What's good everyone, in this video I'll be sharing with you guys one of the more useful items in my bag of tricks and that is this diffused highlights effect. It's used more commonly in Hollywood usually to reduce sharpness, to make the highlights roll off a little bit better and to smoothen out skin. Now usually this is done by putting what's called a pro mist filter into the front of the lens. But if you're like me and you have absolutely no budget and you can't justify buying a promised filter, well, this video is for you. Ladies and gents, I present to you the poor man's promised collection. Stretchable too. Does that look better? All jokes aside, I have created for you guys a pro mist filter effect that you can use to make your videos have that diffused highlights effect. All you have to do is to go down into the description of this video and there you'll find a download link to the effect. And I'm not showing you how to install the effect because there are like hundreds of tutorials out there on YouTube. So. After installing the filters, head over to your effects and scroll down until you see the poor man's pro mist collection and there you're gonna find three filters. Now, why three effects? Each of the effects does the same exact thing, the only difference is that the tolerance to which the effect is applied to. Say if you have a not so bright clip and the highlights are not that pronounced, what you can do is to choose the high or medium tolerance effects. Just play around and experiment which effect works best for you. Once you apply the effect, you can customize it further by playing with the amount and also the opacity of the effect if it's too harsh. After that, you're done. Told you these would work well. Now just before you click off this video, I'd like to add something and that is, you could also recreate this effect in other editing programs using a luminance key and also a Gaussian blur effect. All you have to do is to duplicate the clip that you want the effect to be applied to and to apply a luminance key and a Gaussian blur effect over that clip and yeah with this effect you can apply it over an adjustment layer title so you could have just one adjustment layer and have the effect apply to all of the clips in your timeline with just one click it's really that simple that's all for today's video if you guys are going to use the effects please let me know hit me up on instagram or something send me a link i'd love to see them but yeah i guess that's it if you guys are new here feel free to subscribe i try to upload every other week on Sunday or Monday. But before that time comes, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. In case if you guys didn't get it yet, this is actually a rubber band. It's stretchy, fits any lens. If you go to the link in the description, you can get a 50% off on these filters once they release for real. I don't know.